What does the Bible say? <laughs> you know, so there's like no way of mentioned what animal it is that the animals killed, that there's blood, nothing. So ask yourself the question. If God wanted to convey that the skins, that the animal had to be killed in some way for the sin of Adam and Eve, right? That would be the whole point. Not that uh, fig leaves make lousy clothing, that plant leaves are just really not good for clothing, and that leather, animal skin, is really good for clothing, right? So, just, so this is a complete invention, that complete invention that that was a sacrifice uh, for sin. Because there are two part, you know, there are two aspects of this. You're either slaughtering an animal because you want its meat or its skin for leather, or you're slaughtering it for a ritual sacrifice. Well, what does the Torah say? I mean, if the Torah wanted to convey that this was an atonement, that it was for the blood, that it was for the sin, it would have said so. God is not stupid. <laughs> it, that would be a really important point. That would be, oh, I mean, all the Torah would have to do is like add three more words in. <laughs> That's it. And the Torah doesn't. The Torah doesn't tell us about the animal, the species, nothing. The Torah just simply says that, it, that God, he, it's a very interesting thing why sin and, and knowledge of sin is connected to nudity. Nudity is all over chapter 2 and 3. And, and there's a reason. We're not going into this now because it's beyond the scope of it. And I'll, I'll go up. But there's a reason why children, little children, two, three, four-year-olds don't care if they're dressed or not dressed. They don't care. They run around without any clothes on. How come? And, and when do children become embarrassed and, and don't want to be seen undressed? At the time, how old are they? Five, six, seven, eight years old. When they become aware of good and evil, right and wrong, genuinely, then they become embarrassed. It's fantastic, absolutely fantastic. So what Christians have a big problem. I know I'm going off for a moment, but Christians have a big problem. This whole Christian religion is making fantastic claims. And the problem is there's nothing remotely resembling this in the Jewish scriptures. So all Christians can do is scour the Jewish Bible to come up with any text that can possibly be inferred, and I would say torturously inferred, to support a Christology. There's nothing like it in the text.